Let's bring in Pennsylvania Congressman Guy Reschenthaler. He's working with Congresswoman Bass and others on criminal justice reform. And I want to talk about the bill that you have with her. But first, let me just ask your general thoughts about um, her name being out there as possible vice presidential pick. Dana, first off, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And when it comes to Karen Bass, Always. we're on the Judiciary Committee together. Um, look, I've got nothing but uh, respect for Karen Bass. Um, I consider her a friend. She's obviously a colleague. But at the end of the day, Dana, it doesn't matter who Joe Biden picks because Trump is going to beat Joe Biden. When the American people have the choice between Joe Biden and the chaos and Trump who would provide safety, the choice is clear. And let's not about forget about places like Western Pennsylvania, where I represent, where Joe Biden's uh, Green New Deal style policy would just cripple the economy. In, in fact, um, I want may, let me just ask you about that. Politico ran a piece this week saying that Pennsylvania is slipping away from the Trump campaign. Do you think that's not true? I don't buy it. When I'm out here uh, in the district, I don't see it. When uh, when these blue collar workers who uh, work in the oil and gas industry, when these individuals who see the chaos in Portland and Seattle uh, look at that, the choice is clear who to vote for, and that's going to be Donald mm -hmm. Trump. Okay, let me ask you about this legislation. It's called the Protection, Protecting the Health and Wellness of Babies and Pregnant Women in Custody Act. I read a little bit about this today. This is really important work. Thank you for trying to work on it. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved and what you hope to accomplish. Well, Karen Bass approached me about working on the bill, and I have a history of criminal justice reform uh, when I was a state senator. And, you know, it makes so much sense uh, to make sure that uh, pregnant women who are in custody have a standard of care, not just for them, but also the unborn children. So this would uh, prevent shackling of these women, uh, not only while they're pregnant, but also for a period of time after. It will provide uh, mental health and uh, wellness uh, as well, uh, leading up to their pregnancy and in the, um, in the period after. So I think it's a good piece of legislation. Um, the voters want criminal justice reform. It's time that we move on this, Dana. And in the time, I think, is right. I don't think people realize just how many women there are in custody, how that's growing, um, and that, that the point about even being shackled while you're giving birth. Um, the prospects of your legislation, I'll give you the last word. I think that we have a really good chance of getting this in. We even might be able to get it in, into some bills that are running uh, right now. So I'm cautiously optimistic. I think Karen Bass and I can get this done. It will be a win in the criminal justice arena.